Good afternoon, First Baptist Carlsbad family. Pastor Hal here with a daily word of encouragement on Saturday, August 29th, 2020. Hope you're having a great week uh, and a great weekend uh, thus far. Um, I'm looking, uh, hopefully this video is coming through, uh, looking like it's lagging a little bit, but uh, hopefully it will catch up. Uh, but uh, a little little toasty outside today, supposed to be in the triple digits again. Uh, so inside uh, for today's uh, word of encouragement, you see over my shoulder, a couple of our ferrets, uh, Millie and Spike, they may make an appearance, but right now they are sleeping soundly. Um, that's what ferrets do, but um, we're coming to you on this uh, Saturday toward the end of August. Man, hard to believe August is almost over Labor Day uh, weekend, next weekend. Uh, but Sunday's coming tomorrow. I encourage you uh, to join us in worship, uh, especially if you live here in the Carlsbad area, 815, 1045 uh, for in-person worship, uh, 1045 for online uh, through Facebook Live. Um, if you're not able to make it or if you live out of town, I encourage you uh, to participate through worship. Um, tomorrow, going to continue through the book of Nehemiah, dealing with discouragement. And so if you're discouraged, and we all are discouraged from time to time, um, God's Word gives us uh, the answers and how to deal with discouragement, not if, but when it comes. So I encourage you to be a part of that uh, tomorrow as we gather for worship. But uh, this past week uh, in our, the Daily Words of Encouragement, I've been looking at blessings and really God blessing his children. I want to finish today um, with really God's children blessing him. Uh, for the Lord indeed is the one who is worthy of our honor, our blessing, and all glory. Um, in Revelation, the very last book of the Bible, uh, John writes in Revelation chapter 5 beginning in verse 11 as he has um, seen this in heaven. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels around the throne and also of the living creatures and of the elders. The number was countless thousands, plus thousands of thousands. And they said with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slaughtered to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. I heard every creature in heaven, on earth and under the earth and on the sea, and everything in them say, which means everything. there's nobody that, that this doesn't cover, everyone uh, saying blessing and honor and glory and power be to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Indeed, God is a God of blessing. God uh, blesses us each and every day with life and with every good and perfect gift comes from above, uh, from our Heavenly Father. There is no shifting shadow with Him. And so we are so blessed. We're blessed in and through Jesus Christ and what God has done for us on the cross of Calvary. And so we're to, to live a life of blessing uh, through our words, through our actions, through our attitudes, through our mo motivations that ultimately um, seeks to bless the Lord. Lord, for he and he alone is worthy of our blessing and our honor and the glory that we give back to him through a life lived uh, as we follow Jesus Christ. And so on this Saturday, as we think about how God has blessed us uh, so many times, in and through his son Jesus Christ, and might we live today, might we live, live each and every day um, as a blessing poured back out to God as an offering uh, to him. Uh, of his goodness, of his grace, of his mercy, of his love, of his many, many blessings to you and to me and to his church. I hope that you have a wonderful blessed day in the Lord, that you experience God's blessings and that you bless him uh, with your life. And we'll look forward to being with you tomorrow in worship. First Baptist Church, Carlsbad, New Mexico. God bless you.